So you don't have Siri or you don't like it, that's okay, I've got an alternative for you and I'm gonna show you how to use it. Hey everyone, this is DHTV and this is the alternative to Siri. Now as long as you're running iOS 5.0 or above, you should be good to go. And what we're gonna be using is the Google application. You can grab that in the App Store for free. Just type in Google search, the application will appear and you can go ahead and download it. Once you've downloaded the application, it'll appear on your home screen here. When you open it up, you will be prompted to give your email address as well as your information if you want to enable location services. And I strongly recommend you do as most of the features here require your location services. So as you can see here, I've got a couple of things. I've got a Google search, I've got voice apps and goggles. And basically what we're going to be using mainly is the voice app, but you have cards here. If I scroll down, you can see that I've got my weather. If I scroll down further, I can see today's score and we can actually take a look at a bunch of different things here in the settings at what you can actually do with the card. So your weather, traffic, flights, Gmail, sports, alerts, movies, there's tons of stuff that you can do with the Google Now app. So we'll go ahead and get started on a couple of things that you can ask Google Now and say to Google Now. So we'll go back to that home screen there. So the search bar here. All right, so the first thing, let's take a look at its weather capabilities. So we'll just ask it a simple question. Do I need a jacket? So there you have it, there's the weather and you can actually tap through the different days and get a little bit more information right here. Now let's test Google Now's math skills. So what's 500 divided by five? So you can see you've got a calculator and you can actually add to it just by typing right here and you can use that as well. Next up, let's get it to convert things. So convert 12 feet into inches. There you go, so it can convert things for you. Let's go ahead and ask it another question. What hockey games are playing tonight? So there you go, we've got all the NHL hockey games for tonight, and as I showed you before, you can do a little bit more. You can go through Thursday, you can see what's going on on Friday. Show me pictures of the CN Tower. So it'll automatically jump into Google Images to show you images of what you've asked. Who is the CEO of Google? So you get a quick picture and it does give you the name. What time is it in China? So there you go, you got pretty much a world clock at your fingertip there. You can pretty much ask it any time for any place. Show me Amazon stock. So just like with the stocks application, you can take a look at the stocks of pretty much any stock as long as you know the name of it. Give me directions to Florida. So you can ask for directions as well as traffic reports and things like that. And you can see it's gonna take me quite a long time if I wanna to go to Florida from here. What does discombobulated mean? And there you go, we've got a definition ability as well and you can click on anything here and also you have everything that you do followed by a search, so that's pretty good as well. Now in terms of Siri being able to talk back to you, Google Now for Android obviously is much better than the iOS version. The problem with this is that they don't have background abilities to actually be in your notification center and use things like that, and you don't have the voice capability that you would if you had a Google Now with an Android device, but this is still a good alternative if you don't have Siri or you don't like Siri for that matter. This will give you the ability to use the Google Now search, and at the bottom, here you just have a couple of settings if you want to go into web images news videos and you've got your settings if we go into the settings section here you can play around with various things as well as the google now which i showed you at the beginning and uh, disable or enable various ones that you want to actually customize that you would use on a daily basis so that's pretty much it this is google now it would be your alternative to siri again it's free it's in the app store check it out let me know what you think in the comments down below i hope you find this helpful if you do hit that thumbs up also subscribe i post videos monday wednesday and friday and if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments down below on my discussion tab in my channel or even add me on Twitter and ask me there. I'm always responding to questions on the go on Twitter. So it's pretty much the best way to get your answer quickly. Anyway, guys, thanks again. I will see you in the next one.